Huh. What is this? A new GoPros in America video. Uploading now. Oh, I wanna try this. And today, we have a package from Go Power Sports to put on the orange go kart, which I call it, to make this thing go stupidly fast. And um, you've probably already seen this in the title, but it's the Go Power Sports Jugverter. Um, I got this because this engine makes 16 horsepower, I'm gonna say, with a seven horsepower torque converter setup. And if I keep running this front driver on it, then it's gonna like lock up sometime. And it's gonna wear my belts down a lot. And you can see I've already wear down some of my belt already, but I'm not gonna be replacing that today because I don't have the money. What? Um, so today we are gonna be putting on a jug averter for it because this setup right now locks up well before it gets into the RPMs. This locks, this is full lock where everything is at its maximum limit at 4,000 RPM, around 4,000 RPM, or less. And this jug averter preforms past 4,000 RPM. So we will be getting a lot more torque and horsepower and top speed. But since this engine is kind of just cradled in there, as you can see, we've had to make some frame modifications. Uh, this jug averter is will poke farther out. So either we'll have to get rid of this bar, dimple it, or we'll move the we'll move the motor back and to fit the jug averter. But since this, yeah, you can't get to it from uh, right here. So we gotta take the motor loose, get the chain off, pull the motor back, replace the converter, and then we will, uh, yeah, we'll get to other things. So first off, we need to get our motor mount bolts off. And we got two different wrenches for that. We got a half inch, which it seems like a half inch. And we'll get that off. Alright, now that we got the motor loose, we need to get our chain loose. Alright, there we go. We now got our chain loose. And let's just get it off. And we might need to extend this. Now that that's all done. Oh shoot, my muffler's loose again. All right, now we got it loose. We might actually have to take uh, the motor off, unless I can get in there. But now we can get to the torque converter. We just need to take that 10 millimeter off and then we can pull it all off. As you can see, it does not fit, so we need to fit the wrench. 
<laughs> All right, so this is a trick that you can do if you can't get your impact in there, but you don't want to take the motor off. And it's basically an impact just with a wrench. You take a wrench, put it on, you take a hammer, and you hit it. But you want to get to the compression stroke. So I'm turning the engine over right now because it's connected to the crankshaft. So as soon as I get to the compression stroke, which it's right there, take my hammer. Which it's not coming off the moment. See if there's now we have it loose. Make sure you can see that. We have it loose. We can take the bolt out. Now this should be a direct fit to the 30 series torque converter. This torque converter is from Go Power Sports. So this should be a direct fit. And some people may say, oh that's not a Go Power Sports torque converter because the black back is black, not black. And this is a older style torque converter from Go Power Sports. And this is uh, just an older version of it. So we'll take our belt off and get our backing plate off. And then we get into the goods. So we're gonna, we're gonna just rip this open real quick. And after shipping and tax, I think this was about $106. So this was not cheap for someone on a budget, you can say. And I cannot get that in there, so I'm going to need to take the motor off, which I do not want to do, but it's necessary. So let me get to that in a second. All right, now that we got the engine turned enough and loosened up, I think I can now test fit the Go Power Sports Jug Averter. So I'm gonna lift up the engine here and it is installed. And now we can move it over. And this is where it stops. Hmm. This is how far back the engine needs to be unless we need to make uh, great, uh, adjustments to the uh, frame. So now I will see the back holes line up, and they do, and this is as far back as it can be. Now I don't know how we're going to tension the chain, but I think we're going to cut some of this out, so I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait for my dad gets home, and this is just a test fit right now, but this is horrible we've got. So see you when my dad gets home or we do something. Okay, so what I've done is I've sawzawed the bars that went there 
and they've actually needed to come out for a while now. I just haven't gotten to do it, but we're going to weld in new braces sometime, but not right now. So we're going to install the engine back onto the goat cart, put the chain on, get it all back together. But first off, let's, uh, let's put the belt on our jug inverter and tighten it down. All right, so our jug inverter was just sitting here. So we'll put that on a piece of plastic gently. We got our key here because the jug inverter doesn't have a key already installed. And let's just set this right in here. So it looks like I'm gonna have to clean out my quiche way shaft to get it in because it fits in there but it doesn't go all the way through. So I'm either gonna grind on this or I'm going to uh, uh, just tap it in with a hammer. So let me go get something to clean it up. Is this the new stuff you're putting on? Yeah. This thing's gonna rip. Dude, it's more than I'm just gonna rip. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to grind this keyway or this quiche, this key down just a little bit. And I do not want to grind on my actual crankshaft because that's a lot more money than a $3 key. So I'm gonna go grind this and then I'll catch you again. All right, we have got the key in right now. It has been grounded just a little bit, just enough. And now let's see if it just fits. And it does. So let's pull that back out. And how we're gonna do this is we're going to put the belt on. And if the belt does not fit, ah, the key is a little hot. So I'll just put this in real quick. And so, if you can't get the jug inverter on with the key, or just on like this, uh, what you can do is you can see, in my case, it will go on. He's just getting all messed up. So, in my case, it is going on. But if not, you can try, you can pull these two pulleys apart and push the belt down inside the groove some more. But I can see that my belt alignment is pretty dang good, so I do not need to touch my belt alignment. Now I'm gonna take my uh, uh, screw right here, and I am going to put it in with an impact. Ah, shoot. All right, I'm gonna leave it at there. But now our jug inverter is installed. Uh, we need to now put it back on the goat cart. So let's do that. Now we're gonna slide our mounting bolts in. All right, now we're gonna install our kill switch. We're not gonna tighten up the bolts yet until we got the chain on. All nice and buddy. Now we're going to put our uh, 
center link in. You don't drop the chain on the ground or the link. All right, now our spacer. And now our uh, clip. And you wanna make sure the closed end is facing the direction the closed end is facing the direction of uh, your chain. So pretend you're, the sprocket's right here and the chain's going around it. The direction is this way. You want the, uh, it right here because if you have the open side, then it can clip and then fall off and then you lose your chain. Now we got our needle nose pliers and you wanna push on the top and hold on the, uh, Push on the top of the link, the closed side, and pull on the actual link itself. I like to put these at an angle a little bit. And there we go, we've clipped it on. Now we can move our motor all the way back. And it is lined up. And we want to look down it a little bit and line up our two sprockets. And I think I got mine on. Now I'm going to tighten up every uh, bolt I have put on. bolts are tight enough we just need to hook up throttle and we can go for a ride All right, now let's check if it all moves all right. All right, it looks good. So now let's go take it for a ride. All right, she's warming up right now, but she sounds good. I think I'm gonna go for a launch real quick. So, I'll have to end off the video here now. This thing's a ripper now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See ya. Hey. Oh shoot, is it time? All right. This thing's spinning tires now. I can hear it. <laughs> Alright, let me go park this thing and end my video.